Hey, welcome back. So, I actually managed to get the fighter jet finished. It has both atmospheric and space capabilities. Um, so, I have added a few mods here, and I guarantee I had to delete some stuff out of here because I'm getting some serious lag. Um, oh, yep, yeah, see, something just showed up. I'm gonna have to fix that in a minute. Um, so. <coughs> I got some uh, Gatling guns on here. I replaced the uh, rocket launchers on here. It's all loaded up and ready to go. It does fly pretty well and it's very nimble. Especially since I have eight reactors on here. The next thing you do is just armor it up. So without further ado, let's get going. So on all the critical parts of here, I'm going to use heavy armor. And um, on the rest of it to keep the weight down, I am going to use light armor. Whoops. Let me grab a couple of these real quick. Also, I need to uh, build some extra stuff on here. Alright, there we go. Whoops. Man, this lag is serious. The struggle is real. Alright, so that's gotta be armored up. Getting around the ions and the container. Um, back here. And I actually have like six hours of power on here. Yeah, see that? It's just lagging like crazy right now. I'm at to reload the game. And my next build is going to be a welding ship. Uh, this is going to make it a lot easier to weld this stuff up. I might actually just uh, build a welding wall in here somewhere. And then, when I'm done with this, I'm going to make a blueprint of it. Actually, probably make another blueprint of it right now, so that way I can do another mock-up with um, mainly just Gatlings on it. Uh, I'm going to build a hydrogen uh, mid-sized small grid ship. Once we get enough resources. So I have uh, more cargo capability and probably have two um, cargo containers so I can hook up in the back and on top. So that way I have a separate container for my ammunition and for any ore I uh, gather off planet. I gotta take care of the stuff off of this real quick. Get the lag out. It's lagging right crazy right now on my end. Uh, hang on. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I got rid of a few things. That should help out a bit. That was open space right there. And I could do the rest of this with light armor. Alright, turn those lights off, I don't need them. Get some open space or anything like that. Uh oh. Um. Uh, 
Okay. Same one I just countered a problem. Be back in a minute. Okay, it fixed itself. I still think I'm gonna have to, um. Log off and log back on. Uh, geez, it's stuttering pretty hard. Yeah, I think I'm in, I'm going out to remove a few mods. Something big just showed up, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I don't want to add too much weight to this. This should be enough. Got the heavy armor. Yeah, let me check something real quick. Check my settings. Oh, I'm medium. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just probably back out of the game. Probably about a minute or two. And uh, just reload everything. So, I add a few more mods on here. I added, let's see here, hydrogen atmospheric engines on here. So, I'm going to use these to uh, build a hydrogen slash app, um, app to build mainly a hydrogen based ship for this. And then, what's the other one I add to here? Added two on here. Let's see what I added. Um, I might have to get rid of the deflector shield, swap that out. Which means I have to remove that and then just add in the maybe a shield mod on here. Yeah, there's another one in here I added. In. Can't remember. I think it was another mod. Fluffing mod. Or I might be mistaken. Right, I'm going to get rid of RCS thrusters because I don't use those. So there's no point in having that mod in here. Back in a minute. All right, so I got that all taken care of. I uh, currently am getting parts for a beacon. Small tu still tubes. Hold on, I'm gonna clear 
figure us out quick. Beacon. Eh, let's figure out a name for this. Uh, I'll put a K. There we go. The dagger. <laughs> and I'm missing one. Get some structural integrity right here. Protect those two gyros on both sides. Alright, now the top's armor the way it's supposed to be. This is all going to be covered by light armor for cut weight. Thrusters we don't care about. Um, Especially the Atma, Atma ones. In case I get stuck in space, well, it'll probably should actually throw some parachutes on this thing. Or it'll probably just ditch it. Um, so let's see how it flies right now with current weight. Oh, yeah, I need to add some lights to this. Let's see where I put my lights. There we go. There. Oh, darn, I forgot to armor that up. Try to protect the cockpit as much as I can. to these lights on here. There we go. Whoops. Well, I haven't died in a while. I know up. And I still need to knock these out of here. I really don't need the airlocks. So, yeah, I need to cut. I need to remove that. That's not going to work. Um, I'm probably going to remove that mod. These are probably going to have to move. Um, so I could actually have a docking bay on top of this thing. And then probably move those turrets. Because I got a pretty wide wheelbase on here. And then I got to figure out armoring that out pretty soon too. Since I want to keep that design though. Uh, so, oh, I don't have not made a... Blueprint of this, have I? Control B. It's your bucketeer. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh crap. 
Ah, I forgot to grab my body. Here you are. Here's your card. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Uh, okay. All right. I got you back. Oh yeah, yeah. Empty. Maybe tour real quick. here light armor oh, yeah that's that all right that's right I should do a test run before I do that so I get slats up here First things first, capers on. Why am I missing two groups? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I gotta replace the groups. Oh, not group. Uh, Control and force reload. All right, batteries off charge. Turn on Atmos. Unlock. I got three hours of power on this thing. This is actually pretty good. This is probably my most efficient um, ship I made. Oh, wow. I'm probably going to add two more on here. I lost quite a bit of maneuverability on, on here. All right. Let's go up to space. Yeah, I, just quite, I lost quite a bit of maneuverability. Um, I'm going to have to add at least another six Atmos on here. All right, let's go up to space. Uh, there we go. Turn on ions. Happening very well. Look at that. I'm about to break the surface. 193 and holding. Now, I do not want to go on the attack. I just want to see. Capabilities. All right. I don't have camera on here. Why? No, no. Probably place the um, batteries on the other one, then put my camera right there, so I could actually have easy access to it. I'm gonna turn my lights off. So fighting gravity. I think it's safe to say I could actually turn off the ions. I mean, nope. 
I get this on. Yeah, I need those on till I till I breach. It's fighting me. It's fighting me. There we go. So I figure I'm going to need another two ion reverse thrusters on here. Yeah, I, I can only go subspace. I don't know, I'll actually make it. Yeah, I'll be in a be back in a minute. Oh nope. Yeah. Gravity's too strong. <laughs> and Slow down and stabilizing. There we go. Well, I almost made it in space. Well, I know I could actually get up pretty high and swap on. Uh... Whew. That was a close one. All right, so I know exactly why I need to do this. I need to add two more ions on here. So it could breach the atmosphere of this planet. And I definitely want to need a lot more Atmos. I got too much weight on me. So that's definitely an issue. And that drained my batteries quite a bit. So I've had to light up the load, take off some of the heavy armor. So when I make four in protection, I lose an agility. So I'm gonna need if I continue this I'm gonna add let's see here. Should gotta figure this out. I might have to swap these out for the um hydrogen based ones. For the Atmos and remove the ions. Where the heck? So I stuff that. Should be over here somewhere, right? There you are. Dang it. Um, at least I know I actually get up there mid space. I'll be back in a minute. Come to think of it, I probably should actually put a switch on here to turn off my um, reverse thrust. That's what's part of slowing me down too much. I'm fighting against myself. Dang it. Knew I should have done that. Uh, I'm getting mad.
Alright, so now I know why I need to do this thing. Add more gyros. Take out some of the heavy armor. Because I got two layers on top, which I need to get rid of. I only have to keep as much as I need for the main components of this. Come on, slow down, you turd! Dampers off. Those are off. On charge. Alright. Now I know the situation of this. Um. Ah, I kind of knew for a minute right there. That's too much armor. Cut that off. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I cut the majority of the weight off. It's looking a lot better. Um, I need to set. Nothing's gonna weigh right here. I could probably add a couple more thrusters right here. Yeah, I can add. Um, no, nah, I don't have to add any more thrusters here. I just got to turn off my re my uh, reverse thrust, any of my Atma ones. <laughs> um, so it appears to be that. That's basically the only thing I have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here. Uh, remove that. Remove these. Mm-hmm. I have also all those set of mouse control. Remove all that as well. And then my docking procedurals and everything like that in the second bar. So, for the groups, batteries, Atmos. Oh, I gotta have the Atmos back up there. Um, so I have the batteries right here for recharge. That's about it. And then go back here. My gats down. Toggle shoot. Toggle shoot. Put the ions back over here. On off. On off. Oops. All right. And Well, that's all set up. And what else? That's all set up. Camera. Control. There we go. There's view. That's all set up. Go to K. Go to backwards. 
There we go. And I'm going to go for a tent, too. There we go. That should work. Reverse. There we go. And we're all set. Let's try this again. What my battery? What's my status? My batteries right now, 88% charge. Okay, I'm gonna wait till that's full, and then, while well, in the meantime, I'm gonna build a connector for this. Didn't give me myself some enough much choice for building connector right here, did I? I could actually have just hang off the side right here and build around it, or I could take that and move it, have it be downwards. All right, uh, what am I looking at on uranium? Yeah, I'm gonna need more. Let's see how much uranium I have processed. I'll probably go grab some more. <laughs> yeah, I'm running low. Let's check the rest. Oh, I'm doing all the platinum ore right now. Where did I get platinum? So I'm gonna let that process. I probably have to get another refinery out here. Uh, I guarantee the next the next episode is going to be uh, building up my uh, my bases, and then. Working on the rover a bit more. Can't think of it. Probably uh, do some of that now. So I'm gonna cut these off. Yeah, I got that need park ship in here or something in here. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build uh because I do have conveyors right here. I could run a central conveyor going up and over and have this be the fire hanger back here. Until I uh add on the other two additional wheels on here. I'm only gonna step this up as I need to. So that means I'm gonna cut these out. And then um, put a walkway through here. Yeah, this will work. And then I could run the connector overhead. 
because I think the I think the last extension right here is going to be parking my uh, fighter jet and my miner for travel. So yeah, that'll definitely work. Um, I gotta go a bit wider. Yeah, I gotta go wider. Um, up in about right here, I do believe. Yeah, actually, I actually do that. So I can probably park the miner in here, which means I have to put the port right here for it. It's kind of a tight fit, but I, I could probably get away with it. At risk of damaging one of my, um, Modules right here, though. I uh, probably just slap some. Um, probably slap a few uh, plates down. Yeah, that'll definitely work for the miner. And then, actually, hang on. Ah, uh, yeah, I just move that over. It's fine. Cause I'm gonna pull a door right here and then just go in and out with that put the gate down and then I'm gonna do the same thing back here for it because I'm gonna have uh, two miners or two fire jets one they will have go up the other I gotta have go out the back I think I don't know Hmm. All right. So, I made that just wide enough to put this thing in here. All right, so let's go get this set for a connector. For a connector. Sheesh, I can't speak today, can I? <laughs> so go ahead and remove that. I'm going to go ahead go back to three. Put that up. Put that right there. Now let's go get the plumbing done. Yeah, I just plug it straight back over here. That work. Uh, let's see how many of these are gonna need. Something like that. Oh yeah, I need to remove the um <coughs> turrets off of that. Set up. Actually, you probably have to set back a little bit farther. Yeah, 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 whatsoever. Let's throw everything back here real quick. Wait. I don't know. Man, yeah, you know. Screw it. There we go. That make it a little easier for me. Okay. 
Got some landing gear on here. I'm going to raise that one block. Whoops. Not me to do that. <laughs> These two levels go up so that way you don't crash at the bottom of this. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a long one. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I got that quick set up. Um I still am gonna extend this back out a little bit so a walkway behind here. Maybe a bit of a storage area for stuff. And uh I'm actually probably making this a little asymmetrical. I, nah, yeah, I very fit like a forklift or something like that over here. That may need for moving stuff. So let's go. Oh, something big just showed up. All right. Oh yeah, I don't have um my landing stuff on here, do I? Yeah, I do. Well, I can move that out of the way. I don't want that switch black. I want that to be. Oh, is that right? There we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. I haven't destroyed a connector once. Probably try on a bit of strength on these, though. So. Alright, so that's all set up. Get the back end set up. Like I what's I got no, it's nothing by cloud. Like I said, um, I'm going to cut these back a bit and move them towards the outside right here, about three, two or three on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And that's pretty good. I got a bit of a, well, I got a bit of a tailgate going on right here. <laughs> I'm actually kind of liking it. Uh, I'm going to send this out by about another two of these. And then I got to get my other oh, wheels on there. Actually, just one more row will do. Because I got the width of these tires. So, yeah, I'm going to add two more rows. Otherwise, they go over a mountain range. I'm just going to scrape the back pretty bad. And I don't want that happening. Dogs crying in the back. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'm not gonna have any doors going this way. I don't think I could have a hangar door. I might have to go grab the um. Gates. 
on here. I need to grab that mod. Of course, those ones use quite a bit of resources. All right, so I have it set up to get the other set of wheels on here. All right, so that's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so three by three, so three by three. That's plenty of space. I might actually take these angles off and put corners on there, so it's not not so uh, sort of box looking. All right, that's all set up for that. Okay, what size is this? Left. All right, that's looking pretty good. And I think that's a good uh, place to end the episode. Uh, not really do a bunch of skips for getting all the stuff done, but uh, I like to sometimes uh, plan it out while I'm recording. Um, I gotta turn off the steering off of these ones with the steering on the back ones right here, and then and continue to expand this. I'm taking on the uh, next set of wheels because um, I'm planning on making this like an 8x8, eight eight. <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous. I kind of really don't need that. But I think it will be kind of cool if I did. Um, of course, I also upgrade this to uh, from 9x9s to 15x15s to get more clearance off the ground. And then I'm going to remove these drills. I think I could do on the back is add a larger drill set in the back that I could actually have on a hinge and I'm gonna have it drive down into um uh, an ore uh, deposit. And I think it'd be kinda cool if I did that. So this drill rig is gonna be getting one heck of an upgrade. So if you like this episode and wanna see more, please like and subscribe. And uh see you next time. <laughs>